Welcome to PyRevit, getting started, setting up, and adding a tab and a button. Um, the very first thing I want to do is get the um, Python shell, and I'm going to go ahead and download it from the Architectural and Building Systems on their GitHub. And I'll just grab the 2017 uh, version of it, and it's a pretty simple installation. You just go ahead and accept the uh, agreement and hit next. The next thing I want to do is download PyRevit uh, and its add-ins from Asan. Um, and this is a wonderful add-in. The next thing I want to do is just hit next. I want to accept his agreement. Yes. And you could either set it up for an only user on this machine or set it up for everybody who uses this machine. I'll just go ahead and set it up for my machine, myself here. Um, I've already done it, so it's already installed. I just hit cancel. But you can, you can go through the whole prompt. Um, I'll go ahead and launch Revit. 2017, he has a... a prompt that shows you that it's installing um, and here um, there are his add-ins he's got tons of add-ins I've been using them all week they're really great um, how to add the uh, tab and the button um, using his PyRevit platform um, so here's here's how it kind of we start by using any driver anywhere you can put on your desktop I'm going to use an extendable uh, hard drive that I have um, which is my F drive, and I have uh, zero, 00 programming Python. Uh, the next thing I want to do is build my extension here, so I'll do a dot extension. Now it's important the way the folders are structured and the way the dot extension is built into them in order for his platform to read this. So um, the next part I want to do is uh, do a dot uh, Danny Bentley, and and then I'll do the the dot tab. So this way I'll build the tab. Um, and then the next thing I want to do here um, is go ahead and get the um, modify, or I'm going to do an import, import dot, um, dot panel, because um, I'm going to be importing some stuff. This was from a, another user who wanted to import some um, AutoCAD drawings, so um, I'll just go ahead and use his, his import. Um, here and the uh, next thing I want to do is do the uh, dot push button. So this will be actually be the button that I, I end up pushing um, in in Revit. So this is kind of the configuration. You absolutely need to follow this, um, or else it won't find it. So everything has a dot extension, dot panel, dot tab, dot push button. Um, the next thing I want to do is. Um, I want to fire up my uh, Visual Studio code here, and I'll get started. Um, now, I want to save this, right, this this blank sheet here. But the, the very important thing is that it also reads the script. It has to be script.py uh, in order for it to actually find out that you're running a script on his, on his platform or, or on the, the py Revit. Um, so here we'll go ahead and just hit, hit um, script.py. Um, so there it is. Uh, like I said before, this is a, a, a question from a previous subscriber about importing uh, DWGs. So I thought, um, what better way to incorporate as much as I can um, in an evening? So the first thing I'll do is import the CLR, um, and then from the uh, from Revit database, I want to import um, the DWG import option. Um, and the import placement, so where where Revit will place the drawing itself, um, element ID, uh, and then a transaction so we can undo stuff from Revit. Uh, so here we'll get the document that we're working for, working with, I should say. Um, and this is coming from underscore underscore Revit um, underscore. Um, and then I'll go ahead and do the dot. Um, active. UI document um, dot document. So this is the document that um, or the persistent or which would be the persistent document. Uh, but this is um, like I said, Revit Python. So it's, it's the current document. Um, and then I'll go ahead and get the uh, UI doc doc, which is Revit dot active UI document, which is um, the interface document which I'm working with, which could be the active document or or whatever so I'm just gonna get that um, and here I want some options right when you import a, um, a DWG 
you want to get a couple options. So here, DWG, import options. Um, and from the options, one of the options uh, that I want to get is the placement. Um, now, this is kind of great because you could put place this thing wherever you'd like, but I'm just going to place it in its origin. Uh, so I'll just go ahead and do the import um, placement. And then I'll go ahead and do dot, dot origin. Um, So the next thing I want to do is get the uh, the, the link um, from the CLR.references. Um, and I want to pass it in so it builds an, an element ID inside of Revit. Um, so here's the, the code for that. Um, so the next thing I've got to do is a transaction. Uh, and I'll send in the current document or the document in which I'm working with. And this is um, enabled kind of a handshake for Revit. It lets me undo what I've started, so I do the dot .start, or um, transaction t dot .start. Um, that way, if somebody wants to undo whatever they did, they can do it. Um, and then what I want to do is do a document.link. And here's just kind of a, a place where I have um, a DWG. The R is the, the, the raw string. So I'm just going to pull everything from there. So it's kind of like the at um, in, in C sharp. I just grab whatever's there um, because um, in code, uh, what is it, forward slash is a, an escape. Uh, so the next thing I do is the options, the user interface document. Um, I want the active, a, a, active view, and then I want to get the link. Um, the very last thing I want to do here is um, commit or tell it that it's completely done and tell it to do the action that I've told it to do. Um, so this is basically the code here. Uh, here's a little snippet of just um, commenting, which I don't really need. Uh, so I'll go ahead and save this, um, this file. Um, in inside of all of those folders um, and I've gone ahead and downloaded a a picture of Mario uh, to build you know a button kind of fun whatever um, huge N NES fan so just a, a little button here you can look at it there it's a 32 by 32 inch pixels uh, by 72, um, 32 by 32 inch pixels by 72 DPI, um, and that is uh, Revit API's uh, standard um, large image, uh, 16 by 16 for the smaller images. Um, so here we go. We launch Revit. Uh, now this is this is the wonderful part. If you've ever worked in C Sharp, um, the difference between PY Revit and and the C Sharp. Um, you'll love this is is the fact that you can reload um, your script uh, in in Revit. You have to close it down and relaunch it. So the first thing I want to do is go in the settings. Um, I want to tell it that I'm a custom user uh, and tell it where where my custom stuff is. And I'll just go, I, as before I said it's here in the Python and I got my, all my subfolders there. And I'll go ahead and save it. Um, so. There, I can reload. Now, this is really great. You just reload, it gives you a big thumbs up. It tells you that their PY Danny Bentley has been loaded into, um, into Revit. Go ahead and close it down, launch Revit, uh, grab the first um, you know, plan that I got here. Uh, I'll go over to my own PY Revit, got my Mario Bro, uh, and just uh, launch it. And it, dumps you know the DWG that I wanted to link in so that's that's that you know it's that easy um, for more Revit API videos please subscribe uh, thank you for watching